Why do we still have a limit on how many CEOs and motorcycle club presidents there can be in one lobby at one time? You know, with all the major advancements that GTA 5 for the Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5 came out with, 4K HDR, performance 60 FPS modes, and even some new updated graphical features such as the explosions looking better, and even some next-gen features like chameleon paints, why do we still have a limit on how many people can be registered as a CEO or motorcycle club president in a 30-player lobby? I bring this rhetorical question up today because as of the last two to three weeks, Rockstar has been doing a lot of really good double money bonus events in GTA Online, mostly pertaining around to the businesses, the CEO crate business, the MC businesses, and even the bunker in GTA Online. But of course, in order to actually sell these, you need to be registered as an MC president or a CEO. And I know the first thing that some people are going to tell me, which is basically if you're having problems with it, you know you can sell an invite only friend lobby and all those other acceptable lobbies ever since around two years ago with the Criminal Enterprises DLC. And yes, I'm aware of that. But any smart GTA Online player, whether you have a lot of money or you don't have a lot of money, also recognizes that selling in populated lobbies is still effectively better when you have large bulk, especially when you have people to help you out. Mainly just because for every one enemy player in the lobby, you get an extra 2% bonus for whatever you're selling. So let's say if you're selling an actual bunker that's worth around a million dollars basically, and you sell in a populated lobby of 25 enemy players, you basically get around an extra 50% bonus of $500,000. And that can be really impactful, especially if you don't have a lot of money in GTA Online. Now of course, I would like to imagine in a perfect world that everybody in this day and age does have a lot of money, especially considering the fact that within the next two to three years, we're going to fully be moving on to GTA 6 and GTA 5 Online just will not be relevant anymore, and that's just the sad truth of reality. But a lot of people are picking up this game brand new. Hell, one of my best friend's girlfriends just finally picked up this game for the first time and she's loving the game, but she doesn't really like the fact of how, you know, hard it is at her level to actually be able to make money. And this issue with the whole CEO and MC President limit has been talked about to death by certain YouTubers. Hell, I myself even talked about this issue a whole year ago in a video that I made called Top 5 Quality of Life Change I'd like to see in GTA Online. So this isn't just some new issue that's basically a spur of the moment just because of these last event weeks. This is something that people have adamantly been talking about even after the new updates came out for this game a long time ago. I'm mainly talking about, of course, the career builder, where basically you get the option to pick between four different careers, at least as far as my knowledge goes, where you can basically pick between being an MC president or a CEO that runs the bunker, the crate warehouses, the vehicle warehouses, you know, everything like that. You start off with four million and you get a path to pick between both of them which basically means that every new player that starts the game has the ability to start off as a CEO or MC president. Because see, back on the Xbox One and PS4 versions of GTA 5, you didn't necessarily run into this problem very much because even with new players, even if they wanted to buy shark cards or even get the career uh, enterprises build that basically was like an extra $40 when it first came out, people didn't necessarily, you know, immediately have the CEO or MC president abilities when they first started off the game. But of course, with next gen, you now have the ability. And I'd like to ask a question here. What harm would it actually do to GTA Online to have 30 players as CEOs or MCs? Now, there's already limits in place for certain missions, because Rockstar already doesn't let more than one CEO or MC president do a contract or VIP job in a lobby, at least as far as my knowledge goes, with the whole reasoning behind it being that there may or may not be complications with other jobs in the lobby, which is fine, fair enough. But you're telling me that 30 CEOs can't run 30 cell missions all at the same time? 10 is basically just the max limit? Now sure, on the Xbox One PS4, I'll give it to you. That game is definitely outdated and really does not run that well on those consoles anymore. But in this day and age, when the game can run at a stable 60 FPS with no latency or lag problems apart from maybe a couple connection issues here and there, and it loads well, it's smooth, you mean to tell me that we can't have 30 players as CEOs or MCs in a lobby all at once? I find that very hard to believe. So of course, there might be something behind the scenes that I'm not entirely aware of, and if that's the case, then I guess that's just blatant ignorance for you. But again, I do find it very, very hard to believe that that is within the realm of possibility, especially in this day and age. But I don't know, this was just a quick rant video about something in GTA Online that more or less I wish would get changed before GTA 6 comes out, but we all know it's not going to get changed. And even if it does, I mean, at least then I'll have something to actually give Rockstar a nice high five and clap over, but I can't imagine that being the case. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.